All right, I'm going to solve this using energy. All right, so let's draw a little picture of this guy. He's going down the plane. All right, it's a unique circular solid. Okay, so let's just make it unique. There it is. Cross-sectionally, though, it still looks like a circle. Okay. And our moment of inertia is uh, 7 eighths mr squared. So this must be just like almost a thin ring, but not quite. Okay, so this might be like one of those performance bike tires or something like that. Okay, so it's 7 eighths mr squared. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up our energy thing. So mgh is uh, 1 half v squared plus 1 half I omega squared, right? Now we always substitute our moment of inertia in for that. And then omega is V over R. This is one of our tangential relationships. Let's right? so substitute that in for omega, right? And now our next step is MGH is one half MV squared plus one half seven eighths times mr squared, and then we substitute that in, and it's squared, so it's v squared over r squared. All right, and the r's cancel, the m's obligingly cancel, and we get uh, gh is one half v squared plus, oh good golly, what is this? 7 sixteenths, is it? I don't think I want to play anymore. Uh, 7 sixteenths v squared, right? Well, let's see. If that's 7 sixteenths, this must be 8 sixteenths, right? Because it's 1 half. So that's 15 sixteenths, right? GH is 15 sixteenths v squared. So v must be the square root of... 16 fifteenths gh so let's plug the numbers in right so step one uh, and then it'll ask you what is the final velocity right so find v right so that's going to be v is the square root of 16 fifteenths is 9.81 and then the height is 0.34 times And I'm getting 1.8862, which looks like uh, that's correct, right? Okay, so now if we did it this way, right, um, it turns out finding the acceleration is um, a little bit harder, but not too hard, right? So let's find A. We're going to do that with Subot. All right, so I'm going to use V squared is U squared. 2AS and uh, 1.6, oops, 866, sorry, 1.8862 squared is 0 squared plus 2 times A times, and then how long is the plane? I guess it's 3.2, right? Okay, so I'm going to square this number, divide by 2, divide by 3.2. I'm getting 0.5559. Uh, which reasonably, I guess this could be that same number, right? Okay.